Hi everyone, I'm Gabby Chaos, and this is my shop, Chaos Merch. As you can see, it's a little screen printing shop out here in Mesa, Arizona. And for those of you that are new here in my world, uh, you so I'm a tour musician. I play in a band called The Venomous Pinks. And when I'm not on the road with them, I'm usually in here printing, as it's my source of income. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to do more blogs and, well, start blogging on YouTube because I've never really done the YouTube thing. I've done Instagram and TikTok. Uh, there's about a 50 part of remodeling this whole entire shop, which I will eventually put up on YouTube. But, uh, but yeah, finally, it's time to start blogging. I don't know if it's daily, weekly, monthly, whenever I have stuff to do, I'm going to try to blog. It's very difficult to do because uh, I'm always really busy. But yeah, this is the start of Chaos Merch and Gabby Chaos blogs so of whatever happens to be. Thanks. So I've been at this location for almost a year and a half, going on two years in October. Uh, like I said, I had to remodel the whole entire thing and uh, finally open to the public. I'm not really open to the public. It's usually just people I know. There's a lot of weird people around here. <laughs> and uh, I do have a sign that says no walk-ins. Uh, you can't really see it. Yeah, right there. Well, it's backwards, but it says no walk-ins. And it says if you need a quote, go to the website. Uh, just the other day, I had a really weird dude ignore the sign, go to my back door over here. And, you know, I'm trying to be nice. So I just let him in. Like, hey, what's what do you need? And of course, um, first, he just looks at me up and down. And then the first thing he says, are you pro-American? <laughs> I'm just like, what? What does that even mean? So I already know he's like fucking whatever it was. But I checked out his page and I don't want to be associated with this guy or my brand or my name. <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't come back here. And hopefully he checked out the website and what I do and he'll stay away because it just, I don't know. So that's the good part about having your own business is you can choose who to work with. And yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable with that kind of person or their brand so yeah so i'm gonna give you guys a little shop tour for those of that haven't been here or haven't been able to stop uh i'm usually here all the time so if you need to stop check some records buy some stuff or just come say hi just shoot me a message and i will always respond so i'll let you know if i'm here if i'm not here or if you want to stop by all right so when you first walk in you see these beautiful awesome doors uh, I got this white wallpaper off of Amazon, glass wallpaper. Uh, my fa my building faces east, and in the summertime, these windows are freaking hot. They're like 116 degrees. It's brutal in here when it's the summertime. Then you have this little beautiful Chaos merch mat my dude got me. Right when you walk in, a little lounge area, some waters and drinks for my guests that come pick up, all my plants. My plants love it in here. Got some records, CDs, spam record stuff. And then right here is my big wall of just previous prints just so people can see some of the prints I've done. And more plants, 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 plants. We'll get to that stuff in a little bit. So over here is my office, which I just remodeled yesterday. And changed the setup. I brought my laptop uh, so I can work better here. Got this new curved monitor, which is freaking awesome. I love it. Printer, 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 all the printers. They all do different things. And I mean, if you want to know what they all do, I'm sure I will eventually end up doing a video with one of the jobs. Little printing station. Got final stuff. Back here might look like a giant mess, but it's actually organized. It's a bunch of blanks, merch, all the good stuff, my little kitchen area, little fridge. I need to figure out what to do with all this junk. I need a cabinet or something. Then walking over here is kind of like the cleaning the screens. Here's my booth. Here's, I actually have two tanks. So I got a water tank which I put screens in there for high detail stuff. And then I got the tank with all my chemicals to clean. Here's all my screens. 
my beautiful bathroom. I freaking love this bathroom. It's awesome. And then walking in here, see the safety stuff, first aid kit, I'm always cutting myself. And then here, here's the shop. We'll start off right here. This is the ink mixing station. All my squeegees, scales, all kinds of stuff. Here's all my dirty screens I need to clean. Uh, but I don't have room because I have a lot of clean ones. Here's my beautiful ink wall. Pretty proud of this. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess right now, but I need to rearrange and do all the fun stuff. And they're usually all labeled with the code that it is. That way I can find it faster if I already have the color made. Then I don't have to remake it again. So, tip for all of you. Do that, it'll save you a lot of time. Backyard door. Not backyard, whatever the back of the shop. Here's my embroidery station, which is also a mess. Slash trash. Gotta take the trash out. So I found this idea. I don't even know where I saw this. They're all over the place. But it's just a pegboard. And then you put all your little trinket things in there. And it works great for holding all my embroidery stuff. Just more stuff. I usually keep the clothes carts back here. Because I don't have a lot of room in the shop. Which I, it's a lot more room than I used to. Then over here, got my dryer, and I got my workhorse press. This thing's a beast. And over here is my exposure unit. I just got this not too long ago. It's a vacuum seal. It's freaking awesome. I love it. It definitely amps my detail game. Then coming over here, mug press, hat press. Another heat press, my big vinyl maker that I made these signs. And I also made the signs in my front of the shop. So, and running over here. This is usually where I put all the stuff I need to print. Slash shipping station. I just moved this computer, so this computer was in the office. And I got a new laptop because this thing is pretty prehistoric and it's dying. <laughs> And so now this is my shipping station, so all I'm going to be doing is making labels and checking orders, which is awesome because now I don't have to go all the way over there. And I'm just over here. Got my TV. This is my awesome... My brother built this for me. It's full t-shirts. Uh, I'll probably show you guys later how it works, but it's freaking awesome. And that's it. This is KS Merch. This is my life, and I'm not on the road. So, yeah, let's see what we got to do today. So today we're gonna be making some screens, and pipe screens, get stuff ready for, to print tomorrow. Um, I don't know why it's been, it's been kind of slow, but not really. But there's just been so much other stuff to do to me. For me to be able to get to the printing stage, I gotta do step a through h before i can start printing so and it's just me so let's get to it So this thing is freaking awesome. Vacuum seal. Uh, and I could do bigger screens on here too. For larger orders. And here's the vacuum working. I honestly don't know why the vacuum is better, but it is. I guess I should have. I mean, I searched it a long time ago and I was wanting one of these. Uh, but it seems to work better for details and stuff. Who knows? But I recommend it. And I already have the timer on this set. So now I wait two minutes, two, three minutes, and get this washed up. 
So while that's being exposed, um, show you how I do my little invoices. Uh, a while ago, I went to a big shop here in town, and they had these little plastic things where you put your order number, and then you kind of just, I don't know, I think it looks cooler once you get it. So once I have my little little paperwork, I put it over here just to be more organized. New needs to order shirts, order the shirts, need screens, and then ready to go. Uh, I have a stack over here that actually I just order these. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do this stuff, but Jesus, it keeps me organized. As organized as I can. It's making a freaking mess. Uh, but yeah, I have quite a few things I need to do. I need to do artwork for this local bar in town. And I gotta just got another order in. And then usually here is my little schedule of the name of the invoice. If they pay the deposit, if I have the screens, shirts, and if it's ready to print, usually I have a schedule so I can keep track of this stuff. But it's already not Tuesday and it's not Monday. <laughs> so I gotta add some more orders in there. All right, so this thing is finally done. Try to put those hooks down because I already hit myself with it and got this gnarly bruise. So let's see here. Just put all that to the side. This one has, so I used a pretty high mesh because it has a really tiny name on it. And I just want the best result for it. So I'm gonna throw it in the water tank and wait a couple minutes. Before I spray and then I'll get the other screen in there so I forgot I was doing vlogs <laughs> and uh, I already did the screen uh, I don't know why this it's so weird the phone always has this weird black light but this has a super tiny super tiny name right there I needed to get that and I think we got it so start moving on to the other screens in production. I already have the other one soaking. So a lot of you Arizona people might know this bar. It's uh, rips. So they only have an image that was it's uh, it's not the best looking image for printing so I'm going to fix the artwork so that I can get it ready for print. And I mean I could print it how it is but it's not very good for quality so you can see it's very yeah it's not good so i'm gonna fix it for them might take me a couple hours to do or we'll see maybe i'll finish it at home so see how this goes so it's about almost it's past 5 p.m um usually here noon to five six seven depends on the workload just closing up my windows People can't see it. Probably spend another. I look crazy. Um, <laughs> I'll probably be here another hour editing, getting screens ready for tomorrow and the production, and you know, all that good stuff. And we get to go home and probably work on more stuff. Being self-employed, you work 24/7. So yeah, my door has uh, extra security. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna turn off all the stuff and then probably get out of here. So I've been working on this thing for a couple days, but I haven't been able to sit down and actually finish it. And I think I finally did. Uh, from, I mean, this other one was, I don't think that's, I don't even have the original. This one, I was already messing with it, but finally got to that. And that is way more acceptable than what they sent in. So now I don't have a, new logo and send it off to them to approve it then i can get this printed and print it this week or next well it's the end of my day uh it's almost six o'clock gonna go home 
and hope you like these blogs and hopefully I can bring you into my everyday what happens here on the disaster at the good times the bad times and later on some band stuff once we get busy again um so yeah hopefully I don't know what you do here subscribe or add or comments whatever it is that YouTube world does that stuff uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here close down the shop and uh, we'll see you next time.